Brucey. We got Big Brucey Batman in the building. We're live, right, brother? We're live. <laughs> okay, good. First question. I'm getting married soon. Do you want any tips on how to find the one? I actually might need some. I'm not going to lie. Especially, you know, just uh, just your level of expertise. You know what I mean? Because, you know, you, you know how to find the right one. I'm it's, tenured. That's right. You know. I'm tenured. I've gone through, you know. I might actually hit you up, you know, on the level one of these days. Private talk, you know, man to man, you know, just like brother to brother. Like, yo, help me out right here, Seth. You know, I'm having troubles <laughs> with, these, with these shorties. You know what I mean? So. I might hit you up. I man. got no game, brother. I got no game either. It's, it's all good. You got some game. We saw the 20v1. A little bit. Maybe a little bit of esports game. You know what I mean? Maybe a little bit of virtual. But esports game gets you far. It does. It does, actually. Just talk to me a little bit about what the past month has been like. Obviously, you guys come off a huge major three victory. Shit went south pretty quickly. Uh, just talk to me about how you guys are mentally, what you guys are working on just in general about the squad uh, leading up to Major Four? Yeah, um, obviously after Toronto, we were feeling on top of the world. Um, and rightfully so. I mean, obviously you win a tournament, we're going to feel confident. Um, we didn't really necessarily let up on our practice, but um, maybe our S&D slipped a little bit too, which kind of hurt us a little bit. Um, and these teams are fighting for champs, so you got to give them credit. Though They're coming out with some passion, catching us sleeping a little bit, but I'm still confident in us to just you know, clean up the minute mistakes that we're making and um, turn around for Major 4. But Yeah, and I got to ask, just because we have had some changes to the game, some major changes since Major 3. I mean, the MCW gets a pretty big buff. Back to the headshot multi. Uh, trophies, there's an extra trophy now. There's only two trophies in search, but people don't realize that there's only two trophies, but now the trophy's only got two ticks. Yeah, so it's like the attacks are like pretty much half the game now in SND. So has it changed a lot or... Yeah, I, I feel like people just only look at the patch. Like, they only look at it, oh, it's the MCW 4-Bullet. But it's it's a lot more than that. The spawns change a little bit in HP. Um, the S&D thing that you said is a really big detail. Because, like, for example, the maps like 6-Star Rio, the maps where you can just bang out with the stun nade, now it's just pretty much you can win the round strictly off of your bumpers almost. So you kind of have to make a little bit of adjustments on how, like, your setups, if you want to play retake. If you only have one trophy, now you can't really fight the site. You kind of have to have at least two to, like, that's if you want to stack A on Rio or yeah. whatever, six star or whatever, but you kind of need two trophies now. So it kind of makes you play different positions and stuff, but we're still getting adjusted. I mean, it's every other team has to go through it. So it's one of those things that um, we're still uh, adjusting to, but I'm f confident in the boys. Always. Good, Always confident in the boys. Absolutely. So we've obviously teamed for a decent amount of time. Talk to me about four years. Four years. I mean, that's, that's, we got some history. Longest tenure teammate. It's good. <laughs> me? Yeah. Okay, I'll take that. That's no, you still are. I'm pretty sure it's like you and Ant's actually creeping up. Yeah, now. he's creeping. He's on year number three. But how have you? How would you say that you've changed as a teammate, a player, just in general? How have you evolved? Yeah, I guess from the very first time that we teamed, um, I've definitely uh, matured and changed a little bit. Um, I remember when we first teamed, I was kind of just a teenager, almost. You know what I mean? Just naive to. This. A lot of situations, just having fun and just enjoying playing COD and definitely change even as a player. Um, kind of just when you go through so many tournaments, the, the experiences, um, you learn so much. And um, obviously was not um, necessarily the greatest teammate back then, but. Uh, All good. You live Every, and you learn. You know everyone I mean? lives and learns. You know what I mean? But, but Ant has been giving you like hella gas. He's been like Bruce has been amazing. He's been on time. Well, not always on time, but way better. Yeah. And. You're not, you're not like getting checked anymore. And like after like a map of scrims, like yeah, yeah. you're like you're always trying to add on to the conversation and, and improve. So, I mean that speaks volume about you because I mean looking at like every COD pro's career, they're all the same. Like as a kid, I was a fucking just demon. Like yeah, like we're just. I guess sometimes uh, back then I would let my emotions of just like losing a map or losing a situation get to me. So I would just you know. Um, express it in a way that wasn't necessarily, I guess, the best way to go about it. Just like constructive. It yeah, was like it was a gamer way of going about it. You know, yeah. you just rage or like you basically just, you know, you're just bitching about like or situations and stuff. But um, you know, that's why I just think that um, as time has gone on, that I, th I think everybody kind of goes through it or like or not just most people. Yeah, but I went through it. I mean, everyone or they learn in different ways. So it was kind of one of those things. I was like, okay, I gotta definitely improve as a teammate. Obviously, in game. Um, there are some things I could definitely improve on as well, but 
for me, it was more the out of game, being a better teammate, trying to just be a teammate that your teammates look forward to playing with. So would you say it was the moment where, where I stepped down? Was it like, yo, like I was like, damn, I got it. I now I got to <laughs> fucking turn up. Yeah. No, nah, no. Nah, I was like, damn, what the fuck? I, I want to give myself credit here. I'm just curious. Was that kind of like a turning point in your career? It kind of was. Yeah. Because you got back on the team off of that. Like, obviously, shit was bumpy up until that point, and now you're back on the squad. You got Kyler, who was amazing. You got Dan after, obviously, Ender was like, oh, was that, like, kind of a big moment? It kind of was, because um, when I got dropped the second time, I was under the impression, I was like, damn, that might be that it. That might you know, be it. Yeah, so I was like, but then when I got um, the call from Hector, and then at first, I didn't believe it. He was like, yo, Seth's retiring, you're back in. I was like, whoa, whoa, it's like 10 p.m., <laughs> I'm on the way. You're in the mix. I, I, it's it's in the middle of the winter. It's dark as fuck outside. It's cold, and I'm I'm on the way. Actually, I can't say where I'm on the way to, but okay, yeah, keep that. Actually, we'll just say that. We'll leave it at that. And then uh, Hector's like, "You're back in." I was like, "Really?" And then um, I don't know. I didn't really settle in until I got to Texas, and then had the convos with you, Hector, the team, and I was like, "Oh my god, this shit's actually happening." So that's when I was for sure. I was already locked in, but then that was like a different perspective on like, okay, like. I really have to make sure that make this um, one count. Yeah, exactly. As long as I, you know, go hard every day and do as much as I can individually, then I could live with whatever happens. So I was just like, okay, let me just go hard every day. Fucking Brucey, man. Absolutely, man. You know, this character development, absolutely. character fucking development. I mean, I see AG in the back. Huh? <laughs> so it's good. I'm proud of you. That's good. I mean, again, I, I kind of went through it. Uh, Start of my career was rocky. I was, you know, I was a little aggressive towards towards teammates sometimes. And then as I got older, I like started to, to see the bigger picture and yeah. just how to be a better teammate. So it's good that, you know, you're on that trajectory because a lot of people do go through it. I mean, yeah. it's, it's pretty, pretty standard in COD. I mean, a lot of people obviously know that I'm trolly, I'm Bobby, but a lot of people don't like see the side that I'm so competitive. I'm yeah. almost like psychotic about it sometimes. So it's, that's why. I, Gotta be. Yeah. Like that's just, that, that's why I guess that side of me kind of got the better of me in some situations because I just didn't see the bigger picture. I'd just see defeat on my screen. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, my God. How do we lose? Just see 250 to... Yeah, right? And your screen's red. And I'm like, fuck. (laughs) How do (laughs) we lose this shit? shit. Yeah. I'm like, no. That's basically it. Hell yeah. So the last time we won champs, 2017. We've had a couple close calls since then. Couple couple miscues, couple mishaps. Uh, How do you feel now? Because the pressure is kind of shifted towards you and Ant on the team now. People are looking at you guys. How do you deal with that and... Just in your mind, how do you deal with that going into this year's champs? It definitely has shifted towards us, but um, I wouldn't want to have it any other way. I mean, it, I feel like it just comes with playing for Optic. I mean, it's a historic franchise and uh, work. So um, when I first came here, I mean, you got to know that it's a part of it. And just to embrace it, I look forward to the challenge every day of just trying to get better. And one day, potentially lifting up that bad boy right there. Maybe not the specific version, but... Different version. Definitely. Different version. Having same weight, moment. though. Same. Well, not the same. Same weight. You know what I'm saying? Is it, is it heavy? That one was heavy. When I first picked it up, it like went back. I thought I was about to fucking Whoa, drop it. Really? <laughs> I thought I was about to drop it. Was uh, it late? Wait, wait, Because uh, you guys won. It was 3 0, right? Uh, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. 3 0'd them. But we, we, we bracket reset. So we beat them 3 3 1 and then 3 0, I think. Yeah. Because you know what's crazy? I remember watching that event from the stands with my parents. And really? Then, yeah, yeah, because I remember that was the first That's event. crazy that's backstory. The first, that's the first event they ever came to. And I was like, bro, this is like the venue. All the fans are going ham. And I remember thinking like, damn, they're just shitting on them. And I remember watching the Uplink precinct. I'm like, how lit was that the last 40 seconds for you guys? Where you guys know you guys are just resetting the ball over and oh, over. Oh, it was I'm crazy. Like, is that lit? I'm yeah, like, it was crazy. That's max. Though. Hopefully you get to feel that. And how, how far away are we now? It's we're like, what, three weeks? Three weeks out? The feeling's insane. You know what's crazy is like it's 30 days or it's like less than a month from now, but we haven't even played Major 4 yet. So it's like back to back. It's back to back. And that's how ours was in 2017. We had stage two. Playoffs. Stage two playoffs. We bracket reset the same team there. So oh it champs. My God. So it champs. We were like, yo, we're about to, we're about to do this shit again. And then we did Wait, it again. The more, the more I think about it, you guys were the envy. I had to work for that ring. Oh my God, Listen, yeah. I got one, but we had to work for that shit. Like back to back bracket resets. Fucking. Because think about it. You guys lost 3-1 to envy. Wow, that's actually crazy. And then we got the boxes changed, and then we slammed them. Who, whose call was that, Porter? Yeah. Was like, Porter's no. like, I'm not playing until they change the boxes. He might have, that might have won us champs, no bullshit. Good shit, Porter. Because I was getting no hit reg. I believe it. it was play, they were PlayStations? And at the time, they weren't PS4 Pros. They were the original PS4s. Yeah. So it was like the really dog show. Well, because remember when we came in BO4? Like, I feel like 
the bad boxes theory, because I remember I was a part of it, and even in World War II at the beginning, but once the PS4 Pros came, we were like, all the we're pros, good. like, we're good. Yeah. Even the Cronus is a little bit. I mean, there's still like talks about it now on stage, like bad PCs or there's bad bandwidth on one side of the stage. I'm not gonna get involved, but yeah. I, have, I do have my theories. Yeah, of course. We'll leave it at that. Sure. <laughs> You're really good friends with Formal. He's been kind of your mentor. Uh, if you could just share some of the advice that he's passed down to you from obviously his long tenured career that you've kind of used for yourself. Yeah, so um, obviously me and Matt, um, very close. A lot of people know that, but um, he has been really impactful, I guess, me or with me as a teammate, just um, with what I could do better, what he sees, um, little advices that he sees um, with what I could be doing better with the team or... Um, at a tournament or certain situations, what to say, what not to say, what to do, what not to do. And if I had to give one specific advice, oh, let me think. I don't really know if I have one because it's just more like- He's just a, a he's tree all, of wisdom. And there's always yeah. little acorns that fall from, yeah. from like, his branches. No, legit, like in, even in some situations I'd ask him like, yo, how did you, what were you thinking here? You know what I mean? Or what, do, what were you doing here? Or what were you saying to like, you know what I'm saying? Your teammates or to whoever. And then he was just, he's really good at just, um, I guess those in the moment, like witty situations where he's got us, you know what I mean? Almost be clever, you know? Say something that, something he's wise, witty. maybe not say something at all, you know what I mean? Drake once said, wise man once said nothing at all, you know what I mean? So you gotta use, you gotta pick your spot. He is wise like that. He kinda is. Fucking guy, he's fucking. Sometimes he'll just give you a look and you, you know what he's saying. Yeah. He's good at that though. All right. So you're gonna rank these three tournaments in terms of their hardness. So we got Vegas, which was BO4, we got Major One, Vanguard. And then you have major three. Which tournaments felt the hardest to win? Okay, the easiest, we'll just knock it out. Vegas, we were running through everybody. Yo, Vegas, we were running. We ran through everybody. Yeah. I remember us two. I remember you were front. I remember, like, what gave me the most dope, like, I don't even know if you remember this or if people really remember this because I don't even remember. I don't think it was on main or, or the alpha stream, but it was the 1v2 you had against Pittsburgh team, whatever. You pop crash in the corner, you shit on the guy. You go, I'm like, we're winning this tourney. We are <laughs> chowing. I'm like, we are squaring. So I was like, that was like one of the moments that I remember from that. And then I just remember running through everyone. Major one Vanguard. That was kind of a grueler. That kind of was. I was sick on Sunday too. Yeah, you were sick. We had a we had a reverse sweep on Saturday against FaZe. Yeah, that was fucking nuts. And that was like kind of what I feel like. So there's always like that one tournament at a at a major yeah, that like yeah. wins you, you get, the you tournament. Get over the hump. And like that reverse sweep against FaZe. Even the reverse sweep against FaZe. The Gabutu like when Ant was just screaming at me. I was like 34 and 15 yeah, with two he's, minutes. He's blacking and I, out. Just blacking out. We're going to a game five. I just remember Tuscan. seeing this, the Kill Feet Scum Scum. I'm just running the hell. I'm like, I'm yeah, just running. That was like so dope, just inducing. I was like, yo, we're, we're going winning. into a map five. We're playing London in winners' finals. Yeah, nah, that was. But it. they were low key like good at that time. They were time. sleeper. They were yeah, they were sleeper. Should have been Berlin. Holy shit. And then we played, and then we played Phase again, and won on Berlin Search. That was a that was a grueler tournament. Yeah, like, it was. It, it was, was hard. I would probably say that one is kind of an underrated choice, but honestly, the last tournament we just played it was. You guys went back to back game five Sunday, both of them close invasions against New York and Phase. You had that crazy clutch. Yeah, I don't really know. Honestly, I'd probably say the last tournament just because like we did we were 06 against Phase. Um, it's one, it's so weird because against Phase, it's whenever we play them. I mean, like you experienced it like on uh, the, the better side of just like when we're just smoking them every series, it feels like. And then even the next year they were smoking them again. And then this year it's like they're smoking out. So it was just like, damn, what the hell? So we kind of just had to lock in and get one. But it's so weird how that matchup works. Like we're not just yeah. trading wins. We're just either running, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Or they're running us. So I'm just It like, is crazy because we were beating with Jordan Jenner. We were beating with Byron. Bro, yeah. <laughs> even last year, like even... Dan came in. He was like, nah, he's like, Faye should have picked me up. He was saying, I'm like, <laughs> just delusional. I'm like, let's get it, Dan. I'm like, yeah, they should have picked you up. Tyler's like Loki, the Faye's Reaper for some reason. He always, he always tucks yeah, he against was, He was running at them. Yeah. I'm like, this shit, huh? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, but it was, it was pretty vibey, but uh, I'd probably say the Toronto one. I can't, uh, or actually, I don't know. The major, major one one Vanguard is, it's either those two, but. So either one. Same, we'll put them same, same. Because they both had, because grand finals was, for both of them were, were like, we were in control for both, so I don't know. I mean, grand finals at this at Toronto was just you guys had you just ran like it was you guys had it. It was like you guys it was like the major one. We you like just reverse fa or reverse swept phase. You finally beat them, and now you're going into a grand finals against a team that is we not as good as phase. So yeah. you just they weren't shooting. Them. They were the last hurdle, the last infinity stone, whatever you want to call it, that we had to overcome. And then once we got through them, I was like, "There's nothing stopping us. We can just." 
play like full speed ahead, full throttle, and then those base got. Sure. I'm going to hit you with a tough one. No favoritism here. If you had to pick one person from your team right now, 1v1 round 11 for the ring, who are you taking and why? Excluding myself or including myself? Exclude yourself. That just is, to make it interesting. Damn. This is crazy because they're... Because I could honestly trust any of them. And when I'm watching their pops, I have 100% belief nope, that they're going Nope, that's 2 PR. Who are you picking? I know. <laughs> you know he's trying to get out of the question. He, honestly? You, you see, he's, he's meeting you, trade. He tried to sidestep yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's like, I'm picking any of them. Oh, my God. I'd have to probably go with... Oh, my God. I'll tell you who I'm going with. I'm low-key go. Okay, wait, wait. You want, you want to see yours first? You want to I'm going with Ant. I got to go with Ant. Ant. Ant's icy, Ant. bro. And he, yo, Ant, when you watch like his late night eights, he has so many cross spots on so many maps that he, he just like goes to without even thinking. Yeah, like he'll hold like, he won't like, uh, like fall for the moment almost. He'll just, yeah. play, the, he'll just play the 1v1 he'll how play it's supposed to be played. Or he'll plant the bomb, throw a smoke at his feet, play Warzone a little bit. Like I, I'm going Ant, personally. I was thinking, but I was you do have the most clutches though in the league right now. So you you've low key been like no, I Mr. Can't Clutch. Pick my, I can't pick myself. You can't pick yourself. So I'm like, I'm, I got blooded this round. I'm like, fuck, I just scammed. You're out. Yeah, you scammed. It's like the Berlin against against Toronto five five. I got double lead. I'm like, oh, no. I don't even remember that shit. <laughs> it was the first round fucking Vanguard. I was like, holy shit, they both fuck up their nade. I probably go with Ken honestly. Ken? Ken's icy. Because for some reason, like him is just. I'm just thinking about the way he play with an AR, just aggressive, like. Maybe it's just because he's an AR player, so I could kind of see his pod with like a little bit in mind. Just yeah. maybe chowing, not like necessarily caring if it's like you know what I'm saying. You know, like you could watch a team in a one v one. You're like, bro, you're kind of kind of tweaking right now. Yeah. Game, bro. Like, even though it's five five, but he gives me vibes that you wouldn't tweak. You just square. Yeah. Sure. Whatever happens, happens. So we already talked about it a little bit, but you're the most clutch player in the league this year, statistically from the eye test, everything. Is there anything that your teammates are saying to you in those situations? Uh, and what are their reactions in those situations when you do clutch? Yeah, um, I guess clutching, I've definitely gotten better and better um, as the years have gone on, just due to experience and just like trial and error. There's so many times of just attempting a clutch, failing, attempting a clutch, failing. You just see what works, what doesn't, um, certain situations. The clutch is gonna play way different. I mean, you know this, and around that's 01 versus a 4-4, you know what I mean? Or 3-5. Yeah, huge difference. Obviously 5-5 five, five is 5-5, five, five, but like those, Clutches in the 4-4 four, four rounds, the 3-3 three, three rounds even, the swing rounds, um, they're going to play out a lot different than they are at the beginning of the game. And I just think it's learning a lot from like players like Ender, just other SD kids that I played with back in the day, Blast, uh, Decimate Pharaoh, um, Utex even. But Damn. The, the OGs. The OGs. Yeah, so then it was just like a lot of seeing what works for them, even picking their brain a little bit, seeing why they do certain plays. And yeah, and then it, when I get in the clutches, my teammates really... Because I'm a kind of an anti-backseater, like or gamer, whatever it's called. But yeah. I don't really like when people, like I like when people say info on the map. Like for example, like the one v one you're playing, X player or bombs down here. Yeah, just or, give you like yeah, you saw the him info here. you need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw him or this is where he last was. You're playing fucking yeah, whoever you're playing. playing Bz, he's running at you. you yeah, know? exactly. Because like, I'll play a clutch completely different from playing Lamar versus playing Bz. They're two completely different play styles. So they do a good job of just like feeding me the correct info and kind of just letting me work. But um, the reactions are always dope because because whenever you're watching a teammate clutch, um, you're almost surprised that it happened. So you're like, damn, like, let's go. We got this shit. Like, yo, you know, they kind of just like dagger the other team in a way. Um, that's why whenever, like, for example, like whenever I used to watch you, Ender, you give me vibes that they never like really lost their ones. Kind of just Damn, like, that's good guess. I would say attach. I tip the one. Attach has good ones. Attach. Attach is yeah. He's attach has good ones. When we watch party him, it's like he always wins his ones. He does. It's actually crazy. He doesn't lose his ones. But being that like, I mean, even like Ant, 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 super clutch. Like I feel like we had a very clutch search team, oh and that's my why God, at Vanguard we were unreal. That's why search. it pisses me off that Ender got hurt. Because again, yeah. I like to keep throwing that out there because people love to fucking forget it. Yeah, people act like that never happened. Yeah, he was so, hurt at champs. Yeah, and then it's like. And then I'll, the one thing I'll tip also in it for Vanguard is he kind of set the meta for how Vanguard was played. Like at the beginning, he was like, you know, setting all the plays and like three wanting and doing all the nerd shit. And I'm like, damn, get shit in there. And then fortunately got hurt. It is what it is. But I remember just like thinking like, damn, we might not lose with this team. Like, because we were so complete. Our S&D was, it's probably the most important game to be good at. And we had 
not only four individually really good search players, but we also worked well as a team and we were also icy as fuck. And the control, we were like 20 and oh one. Oh my God, we were on like 20, 13 or up. Yeah, we were insane at control. We were insane, we were insane for sure. Man, that shit pisses me. I hate thinking about it. Cause that like- I know. That, that trajectory like, I mean, that was the end of my career. That was like the end for me. And I was like, just thinking about it. It should have, yeah, it should have played just different. a shit way to end in my mind. Especially with how we started the year. It was kind of like almost a tease on the way, but yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. What would it mean to you if you bring home champs? It'd be the first since the dynasty roster. I mean, second ring ever for optic. What would it mean to you to bring it home? I mean, everything. Um, it's pretty much um, what I live for, what I grind for, what I look forward to doing every single day is um, potentially one day hoisting up that trophy um, alongside my teammates for the fans for the org, there wouldn't be honestly um, more gratifying feeling. So, and you deserve it. I mean, you've been one of the yeah. best players really since you've entered the league. Like, yeah. it's due. Appreciate it, but it's just one of those things that um, I know, one, how hard it is, because there's so many great teams and so many great players, but um, I just know that if we just play our game, we just confident in each other, um, leave it all out there. It's got a good for Absolutely. I asked, I asked Ant this, this question as well, and he kind of responded to how I think about champs. But do you put it on a pedestal, or do you kind of just think of it as just another tournament? Obviously, with more intensity, more practice goes into it. Yeah. But do you put it on that pedestal, or do you kind of just go into it level-minded? I do, actually, just because, um, I don't know, there's like almost a different aura about it. It's so... The most prestigious event of the year there's a different trophy for it um obviously you get a ring which is probably the biggest reason why it's more uh unique than the other tournaments but um the money's different too <laughs> that's what Ant said it said it said it it's was all about the money which was hilarious he's like 300 how much is it like 200 something 300k it's like well actually they reduced the price but it was 300k each but now it's 250 each which is I two mean, quarter mil sure hands up sure i'm down but um i definitely do put it on uh slightly um bigger pedestal yeah big brucey thank you for joining us the road to champs absolutely we're Shout rooting out. for you bring that shit home i'm gonna be locked in man green wall we're rooting for him y'all better See be fucking there, loud man. in there absolutely